take on a feature film. How did, how did your previous work bring you to the point that you're at now with this project? Well, I went to film school. Uh, I went to NYU. Yeah. So that, was, that was great, kind of getting my, my feet wet, I guess you could say. Figuring out who I was as a filmmaker and the stories I wanted to tell and even what I wanted to do in the industry. Like I uh -huh. learned saying I'm going to be a director. But I left saying, you know, I like writing, but writing might be my number one. Okay. And directing, you know, something I want to do as well, but writing is kind of it. Okay. Um, and from there, I got a master's in London in writing, so that was pretty amazing. And because it was London, theater was huge there, so uh -huh. um, I had a lot of time to like watch plays and read plays and write plays and meet playwrights and just be in that culture of just like so strong there um, and much more affordable than New York theater <laughs> seems. I got to see a lot more than I would have uh -huh. in New York. Yeah, um, off off Broadway would would have doesn't <laughs> compare to that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know. Um, and yeah, really, every level of theater there is really amazing. And writing a play is so different than writing a screenplay, but it really informs um, the way I looked at my own writing. Uh -huh. so that was really huge for me. Did um, it help you build um, characters better, or perhaps character dialogue? Yeah, absolutely. Dialogue especially, because um, everything in plays is dialogue, and uh -huh. everything a character says is dramatic action. And um, you really have to, you know, really have to look at every single like thing that's said. Um, so that helped a lot. Um, but even just like approaching characters and words change a lot just from doing a lot of theater. Um, yeah, yeah, and then I came back to New York and I worked in reality TV for a while. <laughs> I associate produced a couple of shows. Okay. Um, or like pilots and other things. And then I went to, into scripted, um, working like production management in the office, which is, you know, not creative whatsoever. Uh -huh. But was, I really worked into scripted, so... Um, so you're getting a different perspective of the industry very, through various facets, and now you're yeah. just maybe perhaps more honed into mm -hmm. what you feel is naturally, com what comes natural to you, which is yeah. that the, the, this idea of putting uh, ideas to paper. Yeah, um, what it says here is there, it's a, set in the North Dakota backdrop. How does that come about? So, Where are you from originally? I'm from New York City. Okay. And I left, I moved to South Dakota, I've never been to North Dakota. Okay. And um, I was doing a lot of research about, because um, my script is about healthcare and women and how that intersects and poverty and how that is kind of, it can be a gendered experience as opposed to just a general um, thing. And in North Dakota, it's, um, for example, women's like, uh, reproductive health and Planned Parenthood services. Mm -hmm. Very scarce. Okay. Um, and if you were going to say have get an abortion or something, no matter what place in your term, you actually can't get one in North Dakota at all. And there's this place like Northwest North Dakota where it's farthest from any clinic. <laughs> you have to go to Montana or Minnesota. And there's a town in this area that's an oil town. And I found out about it and I read about it and it's just like this completely unique type of town, type of experience living there. Um, it was kind of like a gold rush town almost. You know, it's a modern, modern wild west. Yeah. And that really appealed to me um, because one, I love westerns, <laughs> and uh, living in London made me kind of miss like America. Americana, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, maybe want to write a western first of all, um, and then yeah, like an oil town in today's world is very, especially when it's such a profound effect on the oil map of the world, um, was really interesting to me. So kind of all this. So we navigate this world via a protagonist who's on the who's on the medical end of. Right. Uh, she's. Basically, my protagonist is on the kind of fringes of society, marginalized okay. Okay. politically because she's a woman and because of the services she needs, and also in this town because she's a woman and it's a male-dominated environment. Of course. Strongly. Like, yes. It's kind of um, it's a microcosm uh -huh. um, of like issues that are very politicized. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I have this character who's trying to kind of live her life and make things better for herself, but finds struggle um, against like, the infrastructure and uh, the system, mm -hmm. basically. Since you're a lab fellow, I was wondering what aspect did you appreciate the most about the lab in terms of, of uh, perhaps readdressing your screenplay or, or giving you more of a confident idea of what to work on? Or, or like, what, what's, what facet did you really, really appreciate? I mean, there's so much yeah, to say. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm trying to think because, you know, we just finished in trying to separate because the whole thing was such an amazing experience. But um, I think the greatest part about it is you have six advisors and they all tell you their own opinions and they're so different. But at the core of it, um, at least for me, I found that there were similar things that could be fixed and structurally or character-wise. Um, and I think things that I completely understood, but they all gave different ways they would approach it or different okay, questions they okay. would have answered. Okay, okay. Um, and that consistency, but like different uh, branches to coming to the same idea was kind of amazing and it really cracked open the script for me. 
Um, so I'd say that's what are some of your favorite um, films that you might have seen in the last year? If yeah. you're in New York, you're yeah. you got all cinema all over the place on four corners. So right. uh, what are what are some of the the memorable features that you can think of that 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 left a mark on you? Um, well, I think earlier in 2014 was Frank. I thought Frank yeah. was amazing. I loved it, and because I also debate with my friends about like you know, the anecdotal link between insanity and creativity and, you know, <clears throat> being a tortured soul and that movie really confronts a head on and it was just so great and the writing's amazing. And Salma, which I saw um last Very recently, month. yeah. Yeah. Just fantastic film and it's an amazing look at this moment in our history and um so, so well directed, you know, and and well written. And, mm -hmm. so,